So for the past month, I've been trying to think about ways to support my local small business community here in Central Texas, just to do my part in trying to help small businesses who have been struggling because of the pandemic. Funny enough, I was scrolling through TikTok one day and saw that this is kind of a trend. And I was like, I can do that. And so that's what we're about to do. Step one, I'm gonna need to find a local business. Okay, I found a local food truck. I'm gonna go and ask if they will be interested in a promotional video. I'm kinda nervous, I, I don't know why. It's not like I'm asking for money. It, it, it's weird, so let's let's see if they say yes. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good. Are you the owner of the establishment? I'm not, I'm the manager, what's up? Oh, cool. So I'm a, I'm a local uh, videographer and uh, I've been going around during the pandemic offering free promo videos for local businesses just cool. to do my part yeah um, i would pick an entree whatever one you want to promote mm -hmm. and then i would just shoot like five to seven shots of the process of you making it and the final product but you get four rights to the video you can use it on our social media cool that's rights. really awesome yeah so he is the owner yeah if you just want to double check with him so i talked to the manager uh she's totally down but we have to make sure the owner's okay with it so we'll see if he says yes we got a yes Rockstar right there. Oh man. You know, you hope when you work with these places, they'll actually have good service or food or product. This is legitimately good. Like, wow. Oh. Just came out of my mouth. This is so good. I told you. You told me. That was fun. Back in the lab, I'm about to review the footage that I just shot. But before that, the one thing that I always do to really motivate myself to get like a really good video going is music selection. Music inspires a lot. The idea, the narrative, the thought process, the edit, or more importantly, the theme and pacing of the video. Now, you remember when I said this? Yes, but you get four ads to the video, you can use it on our social media. Well, the reason why the awesome people at Cedar Pork, <laughs> it's a funny name, can't have full rights to the video that I'm gonna create for them is yes, I am allowing them to use the footage that I've shot and the compilation of the video itself, but they will also be able to use this video with all the sound effects and all the music that I select within this edit because of Epidemic Sound. So here I am in Epidemic Sound. Now, the one thing that I do and a lot of other ES creators do is we literally look for the recommendations page first and we listen to all that because the recommendations recommendations are based on what you've previously listened to and or have downloaded. So let me go through a couple of these. Okay. So I listened to the beginning first and then I listened to a little bit of the drop. That way I can understand when the high impact point of the video is going to be. That could work. I probably won't use it for this video though. Ooh, laid back. Mm. 
I'm gonna use this track because of its tempo. It's queued up at 84 beats per minute, which is a good and semi-lengthy BPM to showcase a process. With food videos, you're typically gonna shoot the process of making said food. So I feel this track is a good vibe to get started. Now let's review the footage. So I mean, you saw a lot of what I shot already, but just to take a quick glimpse from the editing perspective, that would be my intro. I did some blend transition there, essentially just going into his shirt and then coming out of his shirt. And then I got a 120p shot of this cheese just, mm, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna whip up into this one with the meat. A couple shots of that and the Pico. That looks good. And then right here, after this establishing shot, I do this in hopes that I can gain a really good mask transition where I would go ahead and mask out this portion of the metal table here into a different clip. And then 120p of cheese because, I mean, you got a 120p cheese. I also got another shot of it going on the lens, which didn't really turn out the way I would like. For vertical video, I love this twirl top-down shot. It's It just always works so well. And finally, the banger, the full money shot to send everything home is the vertigo shot, where you pull in and zoom out at the same time like that. I've taught you guys how to do the vertical effect super easy uh, on my Instagram. I just made a reel about it this week, so you can check that out on the gram. Now it's time to cut it all up. All right, I think I got a good cut. So before I add a nice soft color grade to wrap up the visual aspect, I'm gonna work on the sound effects. Now there are a lot of transitions and speed ramps that I want to accent with some dope sound effects. So I'm gonna go back to Epidemic Sound and see what I can find. So you can do this one of two ways. They obviously have a sound effects tab up here and it gives you a good compilation of what you wanna do. Now, I do want some whooshes. So there is a compilation of a bunch of whooshes that I can choose from. And I do need a combination of like fast and slow ones. So I'll start with slow. Let's see what we got. That is a good one. Download, sir. Thank you very much. That's a little harsh. Let's go back to the first one that I liked and downloaded. I'm going to click this button here, which allows you to find similar sounding tracks. No. Ooh, yes. Interesting. Yes. Awesome. I got a bunch of really cool whooshes for my accents and my transitions and speed ramps. Let's see if I can find some type of food stuff. So I got some stuff with cheese. What what does cheese sound like? That's gonna be rough. It's hitting chips, so maybe a crackling. Maybe some squishies and liquid for the Pico. Okay, let's go back to search. Hit sound effects right here so it doesn't bring up music. And I'll type in crackle. Oh, a crunch. Okay, crackle and crunch. We have two. Let's see what these sound like real quick. I think I can work with the fireplace crackle. So let's download that. Crispy crackle. Oh, okay. Oh, I think we can use that. No. No. The sand pour sounds like a grill. I can probably use that. It sounds like a Nokia ringtone. No. That, yeah, that's that's what I want. What's cool too is I can also manipulate the sounds in post. So let's go with that one. And I think we pretty much have our sound effects. While we're on the topic, this video would not be possible to make without today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound. And also I wouldn't be able to give away that video ad that I just made for this local business without Epidemic Sound. And here's why. My company and I subscribe to the commercial plan, which not only lets you download everything within Epidemic Sound's library, but you're able to make projects using their library for any digital ad and any website, which if you didn't know, yeah, you gotta pay for that stuff, as well as any online platform and social media outlet. So after I finish this video and deliver it to the local business, I need to clear it with Epidemic Sound to make sure when they post it, they don't get flagged. And that's a super simple process. So that's how I'm able to do what I'm doing today. And let's just say you're creating content for you. You can go with the cheaper option, which is the personal plan. And using the personal plan, you have full access to Epidemic Sound's audio library, music and sound effects, that you can use for any of your social platforms. You can't run any digital 
digital ads for the personal plan. Other than that, you can use Epidemic Sound for anything you want. Now, I think at this point, a lot of people know about Epidemic Sound, but if you are one of the few who have yet to try it, click the link in the description below because you will be able to get a 30 day free trial. So thank you so much to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring today's video and allowing me to make a banger for a local business. I feel like I'm doing something positive during this weird time. So I just placed all those sound effects that we downloaded together in their proper places. The color grade is done and this is what we made today. Let me know what you thought about that video. Let me know what you think about today's video in the comments because I would love to do more of these if that's something you're into. And for more Instagram, IGTV, and Reels videos, what, what is this video? Crush that subscribe button, slap that like button, and tickle that little notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, DM me, let's connect, and I, my beautiful vert friends, will see you on the next one. I'm out. Y'all gotta go try Epidemic Sound. So good. Link in description. The video's done. I'm just doing this. It's nasty. Nasty.